welcome back to Nat's Creations. Today we are making a chalk pastel red barn. Okay, we're gonna start off with picking our pastel colors. We are going to have a dark red, a little bit of a lighter red, a black, a nice light blue, a brown, a turquoise color, a little bit of a darker blue, a white, a nice green, an even lighter green, an even darker green. And I'm gonna throw in a pale color and a very dark green. So we have a lot of colors today. This is gonna be a nice big scene. So. Today I'm gonna take down my picture Sometimes I take da tape down my picture, sometimes I don't. I tape down my picture for my more realistic looking ones. Kind of keep them in place, and it really helps. I should just really do this more often. <laughs> Seems like I always forget them. Okay, once you're done taping down your picture, we're gonna go ahead and take our pencil and start drawing our outline. It's gonna be a two-part barn. So it's gonna be the normal barn part, comes over here, and there's gonna be a little bit of a shorter barn coming down here. So let's do the normal barn. Stopping about there. This one comes about there. Then comes down to the other barn. Which comes about there. You can go into the distance. There's its rough. down there in the other barn comes out over here comes out about here like that The barn has one of those little sunroofs. It comes about like that. And I think we're done drawing for the most part. This barn won't have a cool looking door on the side, so it'll just be all red along it. Um, let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start with the red barn. And start with our, probably our lightest red. Filling in that part of the door. Then we're gonna take kind of our greenish blue, make 
make a few old looking lines over here to kind of make the edge of the barn so then we can fill in the rest with our dark brown I mean <laughs> with our dark red <laughs> sorry guys are going to do this part of the barn. I'm going to pick up my lighter red again. Do this part. To keep these two barns apart, I'm going to put another little bit of that greenish blue on there. Next, we're going to do the roofs. We're going to start off with our nice blue and make a little bit of blue along the barn. That one has a little bit more. Then we're going to come up and do the blue parts. This one for the sunroof has a little bit of a blue area right here. Then the rest of it can be dark brown. Including the top here. that. Next we are going to fill in the barn roof with our brown. Try to go lightly over those parts but we still will come back and do some more blue. Just wanted to get the, that blue in first. Kind of give it its base color. Then for the two barn split, we are going to have a black line and down here it's going to be dark. So we'll down here. And over here. And the barn will also come out over there too. Being underlined in black. Then we can go ahead and do the other rough. We have the barn and barn roof so we are going to go along and start rubbing it in. I don't want my fingers to get too dirty even if they're already super dirty so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these to mix it in. Watching out for the black We 
you might be able to see that pretty much all the turquoise is gone. So this is the part where we will add that in. Keep it in this time. Remember that there's more on this side. Next, we are going to rub in the red. Next, I'm going to take my little piece and give the black going into the other colors a little bit to make it look like a nice shade. So it's a little nice and darker. Going with this too. After you're done with that, we're going to put in some finishing touches for the barn part. I'm taking our darker red and going through this side of the barn, this side of the barn, but also taking our turquoise color and adding a little bit of color into the red. that. Then we'll make some little barn crate cracks, I guess. Kind of like a door, but not quite. And then adding more of the tur turquoise color by it. So we're going to put in a few more colors into the barn roof, including a little more blue colors. And I'm going to put in a little bit of the lighter red, the top part of the brown, and on the side. Mixing it in with the bottom a little, like that. Next, we are going to start the other areas, which is going to be grass and sky. There's going to be a darker tree over here and some shrubs back here that are supposedly trees. So, we're going to start off with our lightness green. And do the ground. Fill in pretty much all of that. Then we are going to go ahead and do the back tree. It's going to be very dark, but we're going to start off with lighter colors on top. Not too light though. Like that. Going darker. Still yet even darker. Like that. 
making it really nice and dark in there. Next, we're going to go along here and make some shrubs or trees in the background. This time it's going to be really dark at the bottom and getting lighter on top, just like this tree. So it's going to come right next to the barn. Swoop down here. Kind of come down that way. Make kind of an angle. Then we'll also add a little more on top coming through. Put some up top here. Next, we'll take our next darkest color and start just putting them kind of through here. Not layering it too much like we did with the darker color, but instead putting up a bunch of branches and at the bottom coming down. Next, we'll take our turquoise color. Add that in there. And put some of this darker green in there. And then I'm going to take our lighter green, go through even more, make a layer, and then finally with our lightest green. Go through here and pretty much fill in the rest. Bring some colors back. Nothing up top. That should be good for over here. Now we will start our sky. Filling it all with blue so far. being very careful for the barn. Being careful over here for the tree too. As you might notice right now, our little sunroof is the same color, so I'm going to change it to a darker blue. Next, we are going to rub it in. Right now, this little piece is almost fully contaminated, but it'll still work, I think, I hope. Once you're done removing that all in, we're going to take our darker blue and make the top of the sky darker. It's 
getting really nice and dark at the top up here. It's getting a little lighter over here. I'm gonna get a new piece of foam. Can still layer it even more at the top up here to make it pretty dark. Once you are done with that, we can go ahead and put some clouds in the top. Or if you want, you can just keep it how it is layered. Nice open sky. And I think I'll keep it that way. And then we can add some colors into the ground, the grass. Gonna throw a little bit of brown in there. Once you feel like you're done laying your grass, I think we're done. So you can peel off your tape and do whatever the colors you need. I am going to add just a little bit of dark blue on the top. And then it looks like I can put some brown over on the side here. Some green down here for the grass. Some more dark blue up on the top. Getting rummed. Thanks so much for watching Natch Creations. Like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, if you have any suggestions for my next video, you can go ahead and post that down below. My next video, I think, will be an oil pastel. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day.